Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue à l'entrée fisseur du Bouvet de Cidre. Or, oh, for those people that don't actually speak French, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, after the adventures of Chapel Beer Festival, it's time to get back on to, well, the ciders have actually got stored in the fridge, because I've got a bloody lot to get through. And as you have already probably guessed, it's going to be a French cidre. I've not actually done um, a cidre for quite a while, unless you count cidre, <coughs> which is not actually a cidre. And if you think so, then there's something very, very wrong. It is from the Douche de Longueville Cidre uh, Company, and excuse me, because you'll have to pardon my French, because I did five years of German and only one year of French, so I don't really know my French very well, so I apologise if I butcher the pronunciations a lot, so correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, it's Douche de Longueville Cidre de Récultante. At least, I think that's how you say it anyway, so... I'm looking forward to trying this, so before I get to the tasting, let's go and get some details on Duché de Longueville Cidre de Récoultant. Duché de Longueville Cidre is available in these 500ml glass bottles, which at the time of this recording is the only way you can get it as well, I do believe. The alcohol percentage is a pretty average 4.5% ABV, and on the front of the bottle it says it's going to be a dry tasting cider. And the price is... do you know what? It's actually pretty cheap. You can get this from Sainsbury's for £2, which compared to some of the other ciders that you can get, is actually really, really cheap. So, um, yeah, hopefully that won't match the taste, but we'll find out shortly. So what can I tell you about this cedro? Well, right on the very front of the bottle, it says it's going to be made from 100% pure juice, which is always a good sign. So there's hopefully not going to be anything artificial added into this bottle, which should hopefully add to the taste. Um, it's a Normandy varietal cider, which I do believe this is the first Normandy style cider I've yet, you know, I'm actually going to try. If you remember, um, back in like the, the 50th, my, my 50th review or something like that, I did uh, the Kelly um, cedars, which I do believe are actually more sort of like their mainstream sort of cedars. So, although they were very nice, I don't think they represented French cedars very well, which I'm hoping this one is going to do. Um, pure juice, the cider results from apples harvested from our own orchard, and it's naturally sparkling. And apparently it's made from, and I, I do apologise for this, Gros Gelee. I think that's how you say it. If I have said that wrong, then please let me know. Made from Gros Gelee, or something like that. And on the back it says, This Normandy cider, a cider de récoltante, which I haven't got a clue what it means, I'm sorry, has been made with a minimum of 90% Gros Gelee apples, a variety we have been growing in our own orchards for several generations. Always good to hear. Unlike many ciders, it is produced exclusively from pure pressed apple juice rather than concentrate, which again is always a very, very good sign, and owes its sparkle to a natural fermentation process. The Gros Gelee variety gives this cider a dry, full and rounded taste, complemented by the fruit's natural freshness. And it's also got the ind well, it's basically got the uh, indication of geographic um, protection label there as well, which is usually a good sign that this is going to be a very, very nice cider or cedar. Um, but again, being 4.5%, you know, there are some doubts as to whether it's going to be like a full-blown real cider or not. But as has been as has been shown, you can get some really, really lovely ciders at that ABV, unlike some of the mass-produced ciders that you get on the shop shelves. So let's waste no more time, crack this top open and see what I actually make of what is probably going to be my first Normandy Cedra, so let's go in for the whiff test. And yeah, and straight away you are getting a very, very lovely dry aroma on the nose. Mmm. Oh, it's got a very nice, um, oaky, sm um, oaky, smoky texture to it too. Just a slight hint of it. There's, um, you can definitely smell uh, some of the tannins that have gone into this cedar as well. Uh, getting a slight hint of burnt toffee on the nose as well. Oh yeah, definitely. That's actually very prevalent now. And uh, maybe a bit of a, almost like black treacle too. Mmm. Oh, that smells really, really nice. So let's go and uh, get this poured in and see if I get any more extra smells on the glass. 
Now, while I'm pouring it out, I will say that um, my friend Chris the Cider Guy, he has also done a review of this, actually not too long before mine. He um, basically put it up like a week before I was going to do the review, so please um, check him out because he's a really cool guy and he does, he's um, done quite a few reviews now and he's gaining in popularity, so, you know, any, any more followers and everything is obviously going to be greatly appreciated, as it would be for me. So, yeah, go and check out Chris the Cider Guy. And, uh, yeah... As with that, let's go in for the colour. And as you can see, and as it said on the bottle, it is lightly sparkling. And um, yeah, it's got a very nice golden hue about it. Um, I'd say kind of like um, like a sort of like a light amber colour or something like that. But yeah, that looks very, very nice. And as you can see, I've got it in my old uh, Chapel 2014 beer glass because I absolutely love the design of it. But enough of that. What does it smell like in the glass? Oh yeah, you are definitely, definitely getting some um, black treacle, burnt toffee, caramel, all those sorts of notes on the nose. Oh, a hint of molasses too. This is um, kind of smelling like that homebrew cider I had um, all those reviews back. Oh, this smells really, really nice and um, it's got that nice dry note to it too. So, um, well, I'm actually really excited to try this. So, um, cheers guys, or salut. And here's two, Douche de Longville, Cidre de Mécoulton. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Let's get a second opinion straight away. Mmm. Oh, that has, that's got some really complex flavours going in here. Um, basically, all the smells that you get on the nose are in the drink as well. It, again, you are getting the black treacle, you're getting the burnt toffee, you're getting the caramel, you're getting the molasses, but you're also getting a nice um, oaky, smoky characteristic as it's going down your throat. Um, but having said that, also, not only is on the dry side, but it's also extremely refreshing and like juicy as well. Almost like um, instead of it being a dry cider, it's supposed to be a medium, but it has left my mouth feeling really, really nicely dried all throughout, but nothing like, you know, completely parched and you've got to take um, the next sip straight away because you're just left with this very nice smoky finish all throughout your mouth as well. This is a really, really lovely drink. Let's go in for another one. Mm. Oh yeah, there is definitely nothing artificial in this drink, you can really, really tell that. Um, do you know what? For a cider that you can buy off the shop shelves, I would say this is probably one of the best ones I've actually tried. It is that nice. And for two quid a bottle, my god, you are getting an absolute bargain with this drink. Um, if this is what... Normandy ciders are like, my goodness me, I need to get over to France and get some more bottles because this is lovely. And do you know what? I'll be honest with you, I mean, I didn't know what to expect with this cider, but I didn't expect it to be this good. So it just shows you all ciders are completely different and they're full of surprises as well. Never judge a book by its cover, but as you can probably tell, I really, really love this drink. Um, do you know what? Let's go and get a final taste before the final verdict. Mm. Oh, and again, like, like with the taste of the treacle, it almost has like the texture of treacle as it's going down your throat. It is so, so smooth. But um, as I've already said, the, like, the dryness just really, really complements it as well, as well. And it just has so many complex flavours going on here. Um, there's no hint of acidity or bitterness or anything like that. It is all just completely smooth. It's just, just like liquid velvet going down your throat. And with all these um, flavours of like, you know, the toffee and the caramel and everything, complete with the oakiness leads to an amazingly well-produced cedra. And do you know what? I'm, I'm looking forward to trying some more um, Normandy varietal ciders or just any French cedars for sure because compared to the Kerry Sack ones that I did 
um, all those months back. This one absolutely knocks the spots off it. And you know what? For this review period, Douche de Longueville Cidre de Mercultant is going to get the first 9.5 out of 10 and the Cider Drinker seal of approval. Yeah, that is how much I love this cider. Um, I'm sure there are plenty, plenty more um, real ciders to come because you, if you saw my... can't remember what video it was, but my fridge is absolutely chock-a-block with uh, real ciders, so... If this is the start of it, my goodness me, I have got some very, very good things to come. Um, so yeah, get to your local Sainsbury's, get uh, a bottle of this Douche de Longueville Cidre de Ricolton, apologies if I have uh, mispronounced that, and try it because it's quite easily one of the best experiences I've actually had off the shop shelf. <laughs> so, there we go. There we are, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys, and as you can tell, I've actually been pretty blown away with this drink. I will most certainly be getting some more of this because, my god, for two quid, this is an absolute bloody bargain. Stop watching this video and buy a bottle right now because, to be honest, you won't be disappointed. So until then, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop this video right now and finish me off this, uh, this glass of Douche de Longueville Cidre de Vicolton. So, au revoir, bonsoir, buenos aires, and everything like that. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.